to describe her. She wasn't exceptionally good in class. But one thing she could do, she could outrun everybody every time there's a call to run. <laughs> Are you talking short distance? Are you talking long distance? When you ask her to run long distance, the girl is just going and going as if she's not running. When everybody's like, ah, 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 and don't ask Pastor Shire what was his position. <laughs> because that was not my calling. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> when all of us are still saying, Oh God, when shall it end? She's just going as if she's a locomotive. And she will not stop. And she will finish it when we are still on the first lap. She has done 10 and she's gone home. There's a gift of grace that God placed in our life. And guess what? There's a gift of grace. That God has placed in your life. Yeah. What is it? What is it? You may find out that you, you can jump higher than your friend. Or that you love to read. More than the others. That was my own gift. In the library of Methodist High School, Elisha, I traveled around the world. I read virtually all the encyclopedia. You know those big there was no internet at that time. So when you are looking for information, you go to Encyclopedia Britannica. That was what I read. So when others are in class or playing around or running on the feed, I'm reading Encyclopedia Britannica. And I love, I went to Australia, I went to Canada, I visited Greece, all in the library of my secondary school. <laughs> I can tell you about Russia and what is happening in China. You're all in the library of my secondary school. So when they, I knew North Africa like the back of my hand, come on, Oceania, you know, Antarctica, I knew what was happening in all those places. I was just 14 years old. I was aware. I could tell you the difference between communism, socialism, and capitalism. I could tell you why it, uh, capitalism is successful and socialism is, was having problems even at that time. I could tell you the difference between talk style and Shakespeare. Some of you can't stay. But that was my gift. Ask me to come and play soccer. God help you if I'm on your team. <laughs> because I will be the weakest link. <laughs> you know, that's that, that movie that they call The Weakest Link. So I, I knew what was my strength. You know, but when it is time to say, it's time for literary and debating, God help them. I'm going to slaughter them. So in Form 3, I became the president of the literary and debating society in my school. Form 3. The form five students say, make him the president. <laughs> he is the one that can do it. He's the one that can lead us in this. So I became the president in form three by the acclamation of form five students. Because they knew they didn't have the internal capacity to do what we need to do. Like I have. They were aware. They could see it. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And you know, we got prizes upon prizes all across the region. Invited to the television station, and you know, invited to, you know, all over the place. That was my gift. You can't take it away from me. And when I got to the university, I didn't throw it away. Even though I was a science student, they used to call me in the University of Ibadan a fellow of the arts. That was one of my nicknames. <laughs> Because I, I was a science student, but I knew arts maybe more than the art students. Because it was a gift. It was a gift. The University of Ibano, a literary and debating society, three years in a row, I was the best debater. 
Because when it comes to that, I'm going to slaughter you. Come on. You, you don't have a chance. Why? Because I'm gifted. And you are trying. So, where are you gifted? Where are you gifted? There's a gift of nature in each of our lives. A gift that nature himself has bestowed upon us. There is a grace that is in your heart that God, true nature, has given you. Are you listening to me? It's just because that's who you are. <laughs> My wife will tell you up to today that you know it's difficult to get me away from the the, the the encyclopedia of today. You know the encyclopedia for today. Huh? I travel huh? the internet. It got to a point last year that I began to call upon God. I said, God, I I need you to help me. I hope I am not overdoing this. I came home from Los Angeles yesterday at about 1, 1 30 a.m. I still spend time reading because it's a natural gift. If you try to do it, you may hurt yourself. Are you listening to me? Neil is sitting down there looking at me. If he will permit me to speak, has a natural gift of organization. It's a natural gift. That's him. He's a very organized person. Now that doesn't mean he doesn't forget things once in a while. But order is important to him. Big picture is important to me. Because that's who I am. I need to see the big picture. So when I'm looking, I'm looking not at Bellevue, I'm seeing how I that's what I'm saying. But the fellow that's standing beside me is looking and all he can see is Redmond. Because that's the way God created. There is a gift that God has placed in your life. But you take a minute and write it down. And say, I know I am good in this. Write it, write it one minute. I know I am good in right. I am good. If you don't have a pen, I will borrow you mine. Who needs a pen? Let me help you. I know I am good in. I know. It is my natural gift. God has given it to me. I know I'm good. And you know, you don't need to apologize for it. You don't you don't need to you don't need to be, you know, as people will say, be humble about it. That's just who you are. You, you're nothing else. You God has made you that way. Have you written it down? I ask you to write it, write it down so that I, we can affirm it. So now say thank you, God, thank you, God, for your gift of nature in my life. I want you to say it louder now. Thank you, God, for your gift of nature in my life. I want us to go to the next level because the gift of nature needs to be deep. Gift of nature needs to be what? Deepened. 